Hello, and welcome to another Fraser tutorial. In this tutorial, we will explore Fraser's enhanced password system and its many features. This tutorial is to show the person in charge, the administrator, how to add new users and limit what each of those users can do in Fraser. To begin, click on Miscellaneous at the top of your screen and select 3 Password System. If the enhanced password system has not been set up, please follow the instructions in Fraser to do so. Or you may view our enhanced password system setup video tutorial. To add or change users or permissions, you must be set up as an administrator in Fraser. Enter your password and you will have the options to add or change users, add or change groups, or edit your settings. Clicking on Add or Change Users brings you to the main user maintenance screen. Click on Add User in the bottom left to add an employee to the password system. Please note, to access Fraser, an employee will need a user account set up in the password system. Enter the requested user information and click Save User and Continue Setup. Fraser will automatically generate an email to the employee's email address with a temporary password to help them get started. If you need to reset a user password or change the email address on file for a specific user, please click on Manage User Settings at the bottom of the screen. Now that your users are added, it is time to tell Fraser what they're allowed to do. Don't want your salesman to be able to take payments? Don't want your front office worker to see sensitive accounting information? No problem. You can limit user access to portions of the program easily using the password system. Highlight the user you want to change and click on Edit User Permissions at the bottom of the screen. On the Edit Permissions screen, you will see an extensive list of categories and options to choose from. To restrict or allow access to a certain portion of the software, select the option you would like to change and double-click. or click the Change Permission Status button. You can even enable or disable entire portions of the software by using the drop-down menu at the top. You can see the permission status in the far right column. Save your changes to apply these settings to the user's account. An employee trying to access a portion of the software that they do not have permission to use will see a message like this encouraging them to contact the administrator. Creating custom user groups is a great tool for larger dealerships. This function allows you to set permissions for groups of employees such as sales staff, bookkeepers, and assistants. You limit access to information in Fraser by department instead of by individual. To add employees or users to a specific group, highlight the group you want and click Manage Group Settings. Once here, you can add or remove users, edit the group name, and change permissions. The Settings option allows you to force password changes, reset all user passwords, or set default groups, which sets your default permissions for any new users added. Thank you for joining us on this brief tour of Fraser's Enhanced Password System. And, as always, Thank you for choosing Fraser.